Hello and welcome to Learn ADS in 5 Minutes. This is tutorial 19. And in this tutorial, we will go over archiving workspaces and designs in ADS. Unarchiving and archiving is a very important um, you know, feature in ADS by which designers can share their designs with other persons or send it to somebody to troubleshoot in case they are facing some difficulty or error in simulation. Now to illustrate the concept, I have created three separate folders here. Now in one folder, I will keep the whole workspace archive file, another folder, which is for a specific cell archive and view archive folder for archiving a specific view out of the whole cell hierarchy. Now in ADS, remember we have the workspace library cell and view concept. Now each of these uh, stages can be archived so that we can create a specific zip file for someone else to have a look. Now to archive, we can go to file, archive workspace. Now this step will select the entire workspace folder to be archived. Now in this case, as you can see here in this workspace, we are archiving all the libraries, all the data displays, data sets, etc. In case you want to leave out certain aspect, for example, data set is something which contains our simulation result, and you can see it is equal to 10 MB, and that can store, I mean, take up significant amount of resources or memory. So I can leave that out um, from the overall workspace archive. But if you want to archive everything, you can select all of these things. Now, our workspaces, in case they are referencing to some other libraries such as vendor components, like in our case, we are using Murata components and one encoded design. And if we want to uh, associate that uh, library also with the archive workspace, we can select this reference library and files. And once we click select, you can see it finds the dependency and it also uh, includes those vendor libraries to be archived. Now we can go to next and under this path, we will create an archive file, which is having extension of .7zads. Now here we will browse to the folder where we want to keep our archive. So this is workspace archive and that's where we will create this archive file. Now, if you have run multiple EM simulations and if you stored the fields uh, results, uh, you will have this option checked, but again, this can take significant amount of RAM. And for all practical purpose, this don't need to be included inside your archive. So we can unselect it. However, in our case, we haven't um, included any or haven't performed any EM simulation. So once we select finish, an archive will be created. And now if we go inside workspace archive, we can see .7z ADS file. And now this file can be sent to someone whom you want to look at it. Now, in, instead of archiving the entire workspace, sometimes we just need to archive a specific cell. For example, here, I may want to archive only this design one cell because this is what I want to share with someone. So in case you want to share a specific cell, we could right click on that and we could select archive cell. And you can see that cell with all its views is going to be archived and nothing else from the workspace is selected. Now again, to find dependency, in case you are using certain S parameter file in one of the views or vendor library components in one of the views, if we select the second option here, reference cells, substrate and files, and once we click on select, as you can see here, those cell and one of those views is using Murata library. So that is also selected. So this way we can always maintain the data integrity so that the person who's receiving the file and unarchiving shouldn't get any error. So we can go ahead next and now we will browse and put it under cell an arch you know, archive folder and we will create a new archive. Now notice because the master workspace is the same by default, both the workspace archive name uh, my first workspace underscore WRK, as well as the cell and archive, um, archive file also has the same name. That is why I decided to keep it in separate folder to avoid any overwriting. Now, sometime even we can go one step down and instead of sharing a whole cell because my cell may have 10 views and I have only trouble with one specific view, for example, in a schematic ideal, I can right click and I can archive only that particular view. 
And now you can see out of this entire file list, I only have one view which is selected. I can say next and now I will place this file under view archive. Now, depending upon, um, you know, you how you send it um, and how the person is using it, sometimes the source and destination folder may be same and he already may have the workspace with the same name. This might, you know, conflict. Now, once we archive, let's try unarchiving. Let's say you received a file from someone and you would like to unarchive that. So same thing we can do by file, unarchive, and now going to that folder. So here I'm just going to demonstrate one file and remaining files will be exactly the same. If I go to view and select this unarchive file, click open and now continue with a normal unarchive in the same destination folder. See, ADS will complain with this yellow exclamation mark because it cannot override the file with the same name which is already existing at that path. So we can go ahead, we will go back, we will browse and let's put it under view archive file, which is a non-conflicting situation. So now there's no problem in unarchiving that file. So we click next, next and we say finish and the file is unarchived and open in ADS for us to see. Notice we only archive one view, that's why we only got one view for us to use. So this way you can go ahead and share your designs with anybody you want. Thanks very much for watching this video. Hopefully this will help in your day-to-day -day job.